Welcome to Maker.io. In today's video, we're going to be looking at serial memory. Now, in the previous video, we looked at parallel memory, the advantages and the disadvantages. Now, let's look at its polar opposite, the serial memory chip. Now, the two chips I have here are I2C memories produced by microchip and the other 24LC08. I apologize, 01. So these are one kilobyte chips. So in the previous video, we looked at parallel memory and the relative advantages and disadvantages when compared to serial memory. Now, serial memory is physically smaller than parallel memory. Interestingly, the dies might actually be the same size, but in terms of the physical packaging, serial memory chips are almost always very, very small. And the reason for this is that they require so few pins to access. So this makes them quite convenient in projects that use things like the Arduino Uno, where you haven't got many digital I.O., whereas the parallel memory would require some kind of microcontroller with a lot of I.O. So they are quite convenient for small projects, portable projects, projects that want to keep weight down or try and cut down on power usage and try and cut down on things like um, EMI and stuff, because obviously you've got lots of digital pins, there's hundreds of them going around everywhere. They're all going to be quite noisy. So it's going to move this chip out of the way as we're no longer concerned with that. So one of the main disadvantages of serial memory is that even though it has so few pins to access data, the actual protocol for accessing that data can be sometimes complex. And in the case of I2C, it's more complex than something like parallel memory. So before you can even get a byte of data out, you have to send a byte of data to the chip, accessing the chip through a control byte, and then things like the address lines. And then it will be things like, you know, unique IDs to the chip, or you might have something like, uh, oh, I don't know, you have to set the address as well, because simple devices like this that don't have much memory only have one byte of address, but it could have as many as three bytes of address if it's a large chip. So you're already sending three bytes of data just to access one byte. Now on the flip side, that's where one of its advantages comes from. Now, I2C memories tend to have three address pins, A0, 1, and 2, like this one does. And these can be tied to power or ground or left floating. And depending on that configuration, will give it a unique three bit address. So you can connect multiple of these to the same bus with no unique select lines. And you can access each one of those devices individually without needing to use a chip select line or a unique address line. And you can do it all through the protocol. As long as you connect those address pins to either power or ground appropriately, and that can be hardwired as a, as a PCB trace, you can access up to seven of these in parallel, all on the same wires. Now, besides from those three address pins, there's also a write protect pin, which is used to protect the data on there so you can't accidentally erase or you know, write over data. You also have the power lines, and then you've got the I2C lines, which is the SDA and SCL, which is your serial data and your serial clock. Now, to learn more about serial memory and how you can use the Arduino Uno to read and write data from these, read the rest of the article that is attached to this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.